Madden NFL 24. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Carolina Panthers. And it's coming up next. Well, it is just the perfect time of year for a trip to the Carolinas, and that's where we find ourselves at Bank of America Stadium at Uptown Charlotte. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Carolina Panthers. Joined by Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And CD, the Panthers coming to 2023 with a lot of new faces, most notably, of course, at head coach and a quarterback. But what do you think it would take for them to emerge on top in the NFC South? Better efficiency on offense, partner. I think they continue to beef up the offensive line, add to the playmakers on the perimeter, and run the football with some authority. Pair that with the defense. It's been pretty good for the last few seasons. This team has a chance to take charge in a wide-open NFC South. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, the wait goes on for a Super Bowl appearance. This will be the 28th season since they last won Super Bowl 30 in 1996. Let's add on to that. They haven't even been to an NFC Championship game since 1996. And you know, that does not sit well in the owner's box for the Dallas Cowboys. Continue to try to find their way back to the top of the mountain. The kicker, Brandon Aubrey, is out to get this one started. And off we go from Uptown Charlotte. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So here are the Panthers set to take over for the first time. And Charles will get a look at the much-heralded rookie, Bryce Young, the first overall pick from April's draft. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Call it no gain on the game's first play, and it's second down now. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. A man who joined the Panthers from the NFC champs, it's Miles Sanders. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. And we both know there's a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year. Part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. To throw, Young. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And a well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 11 yards and a Panther first down. As a passer, we're just trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Young working out of the gun. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. They run with a third-year man, Chuba Hubbard. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. 
He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Young on third down. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he is going to have the Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, it seems pretty clear on this opening drive that they want to get him involved, not only Charles in the run game, but in the pass game as well. And he can be such a weapon for them when they utilize him this way. And partner, you know I'm a veteran, right? In other words, that means a little bit older. <laughs> Back in my day, we used to call a guy like this a workhorse, except he carried the ball all the time. Now they get it to him a variety of ways, but you're right, they want to run their offense through him. A pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. It's a Panthers first down, 17 yards on the play. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Yeah, he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there, but how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. They're looking at a second and eight now from the 10. They'll try to throw down. Young. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Partner, there's no other way you can describe it because that was absolutely just gut-wrenching for that offense. They were right on the precipice. Points were available. All they had to do was just fall forward, and they were going to put them up on the board. Instead, a long drive ends in heartbreak and a melancholy trip back to the drawing board. I like it when I go a little bit lyrical for you. So the Cowboys ready to go on offense for the first time, and it is their now 30-year-old quarterback, Dak Prescott, who leads the way. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. They had three tight ends in on that set, and they were really good at blocking for their running back. And give them a lot of credit because in football nowadays, tight ends coming out of college often don't block very often. These guys have really developed into superior blockers, and that's why they use them in this formation so often. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. This defense tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The defenders certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage, and that throw had no shot. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Here's Prescott. Here's a screen now for Pollard. He's got room past the 30. And he'll be out right at the 35. 14 yards. Good for a Cowboy first down. You want to see a defensive coordinator get upset and throw his headset? This is the kind of play that'll do it. You force third and long. This is almost sort of a give-up play. You're just hoping to get something positive, and it winds up breaking big, and then convert on third down. Oh 
Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Prescott now. And his throw is going to be incomplete. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. Here's second and 10. Play fake. Here's Prescott. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 23 yards the pick up there. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups. And they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, that's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion, and they came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. To the air again, Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Prescott from the gun. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. It's early, but announcer cliche alert here. Big players make big plays. Should I say in big games, too? Ah, oh, what the heck. And this defense, they're going to have to find some way to slow him down as this game goes on, because when this combination is going good, they can tear your secondary apart. Prescott looks to throw on first. The ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. An 11 yard touchdown. And the Cowboys go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Boy, that route is really tough to cover because if they're running it correctly, you think it's really going to be a slant. Yeah, well, you, we talk all the time about how it's tough to execute offensively, but you're saying, don't forget, it's tough to cover for the defense, too. Yeah, the number one thing that you're taught is to not get caught in... And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs, and I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey, and that makes the score 7-0. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Now Raheem Blackshear going to take this one out. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think, oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Marquise Bell. So the ball changing hands on the interception, but meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. 
Following the interception, here's Prescott. And he's caught by Lamb. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. Throwing. Prescott. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, that's one way you take away a first down as a defender. Make sure you have a little bit of physical play when the ball gets to the receiver. Find a way to jostle it free. They caught him off guard, forced the incompletion. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Prescott. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but maybe circle this play because if they get the stop and hold them to a field goal here, that's a pretty good job. They're already down on the scoreboard. A stop now would be vital for them because it could save them from having to do it multiple times later in the game in order to either get back into it or maybe have a chance to win. Prescott on third and goal. Touchdown, Cowboys! Dak Prescott with a connection to CeeDee Lamb. And the Cowboys lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. The full team is involved in this game early, aren't they? Go down the field, score on offense, take the ball away on defense, and go right back and score again. You got to like the way that's working for them. That's exactly right. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, two-score lead. A little bit like you at breakfast this morning. I got to get this in. You had a perfect omelet, dropped it. It's a little bit of a turnover. You went right back, though, and got that omelet and crushed it. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Right? You got to do what you got to do. worried about your hands, though. Yeah. Well. <laughs> So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he returns this to the 22. The Carolina offense about ready to go. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. This is second and eight. Right back to Hubbard. And he'll manage only a couple here up to the 25. Two yards on the first down carry and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. Now a third and six. Young will set to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that'll move the ball downfield. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Cavante Turpin deep for the Cowboys. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. If this defense wants to stay in this ballgame, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do. And right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try and make some plays in their backfield. 
And he'll take this up to the 30, a gain of four. In today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run, probing now early to try and get things done later. On third down, it's Prescott. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first. A pretty sizable deficit here in the first quarter. This defense uh, probably need to get off the field in those situations on third down. And you and I both know in this huddle before that last third down play, that's exactly what they talked about. Let's make a play. Let's get off the field. Let's reverse the momentum. Instead, they got hit with another first down, almost back to the drawing board. Prescott on first down. Looking downfield for Pollard. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. And in an afternoon where just about everything's gone right, there's an unlikely sight there. He's got a receiver all alone downfield, and he just overshoots him. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now Prescott. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 41-yard line. Give them 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball. How much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Prescott yet again. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. A big play here for Dallas. And even 40 yards. Well, he looked his way quite a bit in this first half. And with good reason. You can see it there. He has such a handful defensively. Just too hard to keep him under wraps. And delivers a big play here for this offense. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him. But now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Pollard. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. Pollard again. But he will lose yardage here. Back to the four-yard line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. The Cowboys on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Here's Prescott. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball, or are we cool to do it here in football, partner? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary, or let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they can continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. 
This fielded right at the goal line. Breaks through the contact. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. A give up the middle, Hubbard. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want. And other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. Second down, another chance for Hubbard. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. A gain of just one. The Panthers on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Here is Young. And that one to the right side and incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Not many boos just yet from this home crowd, but they may be starting soon as I'm starting to detect an uneasy murmur through this crowd. This offense, they've been lifeless in this first half. And now here's another punting situation and a fourth down. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Out comes CeeDee Lamb and the rest of the Dallas offense. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, or former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number, but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. <laughs> Especially with a touchdown. Yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of plays. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. The stop for no gain brings up second and 10 from the 20. Prescott to throw it. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. C.D. Lamb is intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Looking to throw. Prescott. And that is incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. And the Cowboys are going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Now Young. Open here, Adam Thielen. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. It's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't, because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. Now he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. It'll be a gain of five. 
And it's second down. Nice play call. A little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Now second and five. Now Young. That one into the hands of Thielen complete. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Here's second and seven. Throwing. Young. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they've looked lethargic, out of sync. And this shows on the scoreboard. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Young. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. A rookie QB struggling gets thrown down to the ground there, but you know, maybe this game, it's not over yet, but maybe this game can be a learning experience for him. So many different things that he has to pick up on. When to, when to go ahead and flush from the pocket and run. When to get rid of the football and not take the sack. When to just go ahead and go down early and make sure you don't make sure you don't fumble the football. So many things that he has to learn. This game starts the process. So on now is Johnny Hecker to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. From a star in college to a star in the NFL, C.D. Lamb at wide receiver as he brings out this offense. We're in the second quarter. He already has two touchdowns. We know how good he is. That's well documented. How do you contain him? We know he's a nightmare. So in this situation, I would go ahead and double him. Maybe even have a third person in the area and try and dissuade them from throwing him the football. Make someone else beat me for a while because I don't know that their talents are his because when he gets his hands on the ball, he breaks down my entire D. Someone else, they may not make the same type of a play. Well, we know his talents are very good. On second down, it's Pollard. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Going to run again here with Pollard. And taken down just shy of the 40. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. Now Prescott. Throw complete right side to Cooks. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third in less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Dax got this one complete to Pollard. Touchdown, Cowboys! Dak Prescott.
Prescott now four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Cowboys continue to pull away here in this first half. Well, you talk about a team coming into an opposing stadium and just taking the life right out of a crowd. That's what we're witnessing here. 27 nothing, Charles. And this defense, they've just looked completely unprepared for what's been thrown at them. And you know they're supposed to adjust series to series. That has not happened for them. So I don't think halftime adjustments are going to help a heck of a lot. They are in major trouble unless they figure out something really fast. Aubrey good with a PAT. And it is 28 nothing. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. But this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, you get first half scores just like this one. Meanwhile, the throw by Young was knocked away and incomplete. Dropped incompletions on first and second down. It certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. The Panthers on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and ten. Young to throw it. It got his man complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. On third and ten, they go flying past the marker and get nearly 40 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. Now Young. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Well, this is a half for not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. The game clock setting at 2.02, so they'll get one play before the two-minute warning. They'll give this to Hubbard running right. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. To throw, Young. And he is caught. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 22-yard line. And they get 10 yards there and convert on third. Well, there's no disputing. He's made some poor throws in this first half, but this was a good one. And you can bet this is an offense that isn't going to pull back. They believe in what he can do. So all you can do is look forward, and they pick up a first down. Over the middle, hauled in by Sharp. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Young working out of the gun. That's to the pylon and incomplete. 
Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. To throw on second down is Young. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. DJ Chark from six yards away. And the Panthers get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Coaches must really like to see that from the quarterback because he's had the interceptions in this game, but they're able to connect on the touchdown pass. And teammates love to see that because they know that they miss blocks during a game, but they come back and make them later on. They miss tackles, right? They miss making plays, but the spotlight is magnified on your quarterback. And when he stands up to the pressure and comes back and throws a touchdown pass after throwing some picks earlier, they feel great about that guy. And likewise for him personally, as a rookie quarterback, has to give him more confidence. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Taken at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Cowboy offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. First down, Prescott able to hit his target, Lamb. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Throwing Prescott. And that's complete to Cooks. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Second down and a little more than a yard here. To throw is Prescott. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit. Even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have a first down and also well into field goal range all the way down to the 15 here. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. That's just 32 yards officially from the right hash. And his kick here is good. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. Yeah. 
So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. All this right, was coach, an extremely one-sided first half. As One team showed as we up, ready to go. For the other has been three. in a daze thus far. But there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And this taken in at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 18. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. Prescott. Got his man there, complete to Gallup. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So first and ten now from the 30. Prescott now. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. <laughs> Troy Hill picks it, and his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. But pretty much everything went their way offensively in the first half, but now an interception on the opening drive of the third quarter. As we know, the key to everything here, don't get careless with the football. The problem is you've got to stay aggressive as well. So where's the line between being aggressive and attacking and being overly aggressive I think they just crossed it on that one. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. And he'll get this just inside the 30-yard line. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Second and seven. Young now. And Sharp pulls it in. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A good pick up there, a 22. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. They'll run here with Hubbard. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Sanders. Is in. Touchdown, Carolina. And this is where you're hoping you can catch the defense with too many men in the box. You line up in a jumbo set and pull people close to the line of scrimmage and in tight. And then it was all about closing off the angles of pursuit on the strong side and hoping your guy can win the race to the outside. And that time, he takes the toss and falls his lead blocker right into the end zone.
Frank Wright going to tell the offense to go for two. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he'll find his way in for two. And we're back to a two-score game. The lead's cut to 16. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure. But that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready. Because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there. After the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. Here's Prescott. Looking for the out route here, and he's got Cooks. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. 42 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack. And they can also get downfield and catch the football. On first and 10, Prescott. That's dumped off to Pollard. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Pollard will take it up the gun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still want to move at a nice pace. And they'll find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 24-yard line. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. Prescott on first down. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. A oh, lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. They'll run with Pollard. And he'll take this from the 9 down to about the 7. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. 
The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Prescott to throw it. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And the Panthers are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead third quarter, but that, not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. Carolina getting set to take the field. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. And Young's throw there incomplete. He was looking for Adam Thielen there. And it's second down. Young. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. Every team has plays in their book to try and buy some room when a safety's on the table. But a big variable is how does each team deal with the pressure of executing in those situations? In this case, they didn't, and they gave up two points. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well, and they free kick it from the 20 now. That's taken on the 25. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. And now here come the Cowboys. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. Here's a second and eight. Now Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Uh, it's a well-designed play here. Three wide receivers in the formation. They're all going to run deep routes to put pressure on the safeties. And then they let their tight end cut his route off a little shorter and work toward the middle of the field. That's a difficult route to try to defend. On first down, they look downfield, and it's complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. It's a gain of 35. Another big play right there. And this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting it done. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. 
67 yards rushing for him now to this point. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. On third and one, here's Prescott. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Brandon Cooks from four yards out as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Well, the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And they open the lead up now to 25. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And the Panthers coming out now. And now their hill to climb has gotten taller. They had the safety last time they had the football. That led to the touchdown a moment ago. So that deficit going in the wrong direction as they try to right the ship here, first and 10. Young is intercepted for the third time this game. Picked off by Damone Clark, and his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And... Hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. he's doing okay. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. With that last completion, CD is now over 400 yards passing in the game and. Quite a few of those have come via some pretty big strikes downfield. Certainly not afraid to challenge this secondary, and it's been successful. I like your observation there, partner, because I agree. This is a group more than capable of torching a secondary any week as evidenced by their combined stat line here. And in the time we have remaining, wouldn't shock me at all to see them take another deep shot. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done fifth catch of the afternoon and that gives him a first down well up big but still not hesitating to take some shots downfield cd i guess they really want to hammer home their dominance in this one yeah that much is apparent partner if they keep completing throws like that they'll keep that gap awfully wide as they've established already and able to break one tackle but then quickly brought down but a nice little gain so the completion good for six yards and that'll make it second down some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. Now he's got it, and he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Now here's Pollard. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Second and goal from the one. Pollard one more time. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. 
So a little extra time to ponder this third and goal as we've played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll try to run with Pollard. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Not at all what they envisioned on third down, three yards in the wrong direction. There have not been a lot of great moments for this defense throughout this game. Finally, they have one they can hang their hat on. A nice stop there. So on fourth down, Prescott off and on is Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. This a chip shot, a 20-yarder. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And able to get this out to the 25. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers you would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Now a throw here to his running back. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That one good for 37 yards. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. Dancing to his left. And avoids the contact by sliding. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Out of the gun, it's Young. He's got Mingo. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 27-yard line. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. On the give, this is Hubbard. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That stop for a loss made by Damone Clark from his linebacker spot. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak, not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. Holding offense. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Young will set to throw. Short throw underneath to Hurst. Just a gain of a couple there. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target.
Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. And that's good for a gain of six. And that'll bring up fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Touchdown, Carolina! Hayden Hurst, 31 yards. And the Panthers get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Charles, that's a pretty good response from a rookie quarterback. He's had his struggles in this game, including the interception on the last drive, but there he takes him down the field and puts it in the end zone. I agree with everything you just said right there, and there's a silver lining to all of this, his resiliency, because let's face it, when things are going bad and you're a youngster, they often continue to go bad. But in his mind and his actions, he said, this stops right here. And how about the positive play he just turned in? Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Cavante Turpin now to return. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. He's toppled the century mark already, receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase as this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. First down, and it's Pollard again. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. Call it a gain of 14 for the second play in a row. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. Stays on his feet. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 112 yards on the ground here for Pollard. This is a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 12 more yards there and another first down. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. And they got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. A seven yard pickup brings up second and three at the seven yard line. Second down and three, ball on the seven. Now Prescott. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott 
taking it in from seven yards away. And the Cowboys have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. Let's go back over Dak Prescott's career. Six rushing touchdowns in each of his first three years, but only one in each of the last two seasons. As a veteran, he's become much more judicious about when it's time to take the ball and go for the end zone. Aubrey good with a PAT, and that'll increase their lead to 28. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Carolina offense about ready to go. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, it's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll drop the throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. The offense on third down, they're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and 10. Young working out of the gun. Let's it fly for Thielen. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Now three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. And the Panthers turned away on fourth down. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. And he pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards second down. Some teams like to start aggressive to begin a drive, but this is still what you expect to see in normal situations. Just call a simple run, get a few yards to begin the series, and set yourself up for something bigger on second down. They go back to Pollard on second down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. On third down, it's Prescott. And the pressure gets there. He'll go down. It's a sack. And it is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. Derek Brown in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. So on fourth down, Prescott off and on his Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. 
This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good, and that will extend their lead even further. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. Well, now how about this return? And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, and with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. Second down and a yard. Now Young. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Now Young. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Micah Parsons getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. But when this game is done, the credit will go to the consistent pressure on the quarterback as a huge cause of this win. Most teams are happy if they get a few of these games per year. You know they're going to watch this tape over and over, try to identify what's working, and keep it going. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fielded at about the 28. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And they will take over first and 10. Dallas offense set for this next drive. Well, they don't need to score here, that's for sure. They could just kneel it. They've got the huge lead late fourth quarter, but we'll see how they're feeling, Charles. Yeah, we all know people out there who like to use every second of the clock, no matter what the score. And we know they don't need the points. They've scored in abundance already. Let's find out how they want to finish this ball game. Charles, a lot of... 